If you're like me, you probably have the home automation blues because you're trying to figure out how to automate your entire house and there's so many products out there and they all don't work together. If you're looking to automate your entire house and you're looking for products that all work together, watch this video, I'm gonna show you how I did mine. There's a lot of stuff, so let's get started. Now the home automation blues start to kick in when you are ready to automate your whole house, but yet you're looking at all the different components and trying to figure out which ones work best together and on what platform to use. Now for me, the product that worked best, and I say best because not all the products did exactly what I wanted them to do, was Wink. I chose Wink because they offer a product called Relay, which allows you to interact with your home automation system basically from any room. It comes in a light switch that has removed the existing light switch, put the new Wink relay in place and offers that touchscreen functionality. For me, I don't like the products that make you use a smartphone to interact with your smart home devices. Now, one of the reasons why I went with the Wink Hub is because of its ability to connect to Alexa and use voice control. Alexa, turn off the lamp. Okay. Now that's pretty cool. The Wink Hub is connected to GE light switches throughout my house, so I have every light switch that controlled lights connected through the GE switch. The GE switches are nice because they don't have long pigtail wires coming out the back and they're easy to put into your electrical gain boxes. One of the components that I also purchased was the Go Control garage door controller. I like this device, it was easy to install and easy to use. From any of my Wink Relay devices on any of the walls, I can open and close the garage, even check the status of the garage door. One nice thing here is that if I accidentally leave the garage door open, after an hour, I have a notification sent from Wink to my phone saying that the garage door was left open and it automatically closes. No more leaving that garage door open overnight. The sprinkler system controller that I ultimately went with was Ratio. I went with Ratio because of my selection that I was able to pick from that was compatible from Wink. The Ratio sprinkler system works fairly well, but you're going to have to use the app to program the schedule. Now the only thing you can do from the Wink Relays is kick off any of the zones. Now, it only waters to the predetermined time you've already set for that zone's watering time from within the Ratio app. My Wink Relays can control the front door's lock, and it is neat to be able to go to any of the relays and open the front door if you need to, if a guest is there or you're upstairs taking a shower and you want to let them in. You would think that security system would be an easy thing to implement. Security is mm, not there. We're used to a security system where you set and when you come home you enter you know, a code in and then it disarms like an arm disarm status. With the products out on the market, especially within Wink and SmartThings, the security just has not evolved yet. One of the things that I don't like about Wink is I feel like their website can be misleading. It will show you that a product that you're looking at is capable of connecting to the hub, and it is, but it's in a limited fashion. Another thing that I'm not happy about with the Wink Hub is it seems like it can only issue commands one at a time. When I say to turn on all of my lights, the lights turn on individually one at a time in each room instead of all coming on at the same time. Now I understand this video is just an overview of some of the devices I'm using in my home automated system and I plan to make some more videos. If you comment below and let me know what questions you have, I'll try to address those in my next video. Mm -hmm.